I'm your host, Jimmy Chen. Arr. Hello. Welcome. I'm Jimmy Chen. Hey, Jimmy Chen. Your friendly neighborhood Holy Bible Explainer. And my channel is Food for HNM. See? I'm reading from the book of First Chronicles. Earlier there was a beautiful rainbow. Check out my other videos. And it is chapter 9. All Israel were, was, was listed in the genealogies recorded in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. They were taken captive. Was bothered. to Babylon because of their unfaithfulness. Does God want a hoe to have covenants with? No. So they broke faith. They no longer have a covenant with God. You know, in the New Testament, the Bri Hadashah, it says the old covenant is obsolete. Chosen are the church. Is the church the next section is titled "The People in Jerusalem are the first to be settled on their own property in their own towns." There's Israelites, priests, Levites, and temple servants. Those from Judah, from Benjamin. And from Ephraim or Ephraim and Manasseh or Manasseh who lived in Jerusalem were Uthai, Uthai, son of Amihud, the son of Amri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, a descendant of Perez, son of Judah, of the Shelemites, Asaiah, the firstborn, and his sons, of the Jerahites, Jeuel, the people from Judah. The person's young. Let me tell you something about you. See that old person? That's a young person. He's a grandfather and he has kids. And those kids have kids. He's the youngest. And then the children are the grandparents. They're midgets. And the parents are, are, you know, like the parents. And I mean those are the grandkids. Aliens. The people from Judah numbered 690 of the Benjamites Salu son of Meshulam the son of Hadaviah the son of Hasharuah Hasharuah
Said, son of Adiel, son of Jazera, son of Meshulam, son of Meshulamith, the son of Meher, the priests who were heads. Matanaya, son of Micah, the son of Zikri, the son of Isaf, Obadiah, son of Shemaiah, son of Galala, the son of Jaduthan, and Erechiah, son of Asa, the son of Elkanah. Villages of the Netophathites, the gatekeepers, Shalom, Akka, Kalamon, Ahiman, and their fellow Levites. Shalom, their chief, being stationed at the King's Gate on the east up to the present time. These were the gatekeepers. Shalom, son of Kore, the son of Ebiasai, the son of Korah, and his fellow gatekeepers from his family, the Korahites, were responsible for guarding the thresholds of the tent, just as their ancestors had been, been responsible for guarding the entrance. dwelling of the Lord. In earlier times, Phinehas, or Phineas, son of Eleazar, was the official in charge of the gatekeepers, and the Lord was with him. Zechariah, son of Meshelemiah, was the gatekeeper at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Altogether, those chosen to be gatekeepers at the thresholds numbered 212. They were registered by genealogy in their villages. The gatekeepers had been assigned to their positions of trust by David and Samuel, Samuel or Samuel the seer, they and their descendants. Oh, that someone's bothering me again. They and their They and their descendants were in charge of guarding the gates of the house of the Lord, the house called the Tent of Meeting. The gatekeepers were on the four sides, east, west, north, and south. Their fellow Levites. Their fellow Levites in their villages had to come.
yourself. You know, people like you know, doing something right. <laughs> like you're selling it right. Gatekeepers were on the four sides, east, west, north, and south. You know, just tip the cat. You know, if they're going to I'll just follow up like that. Trying to lose a more recent recording. No, they're trying to make me fail. They're fellow Levites. in their villages had to come from time to time like every time from time to time and share their duties for seven day periods and when it comes to things like forces, but the four principal gatekeepers who were Levites were entrusted they have aids and aids entrusted with the responsibility for the rooms and treasuries in the house of God, they would spend the night. You know, if God is very important. God is I hate this person. You know, they actually won't. But you know, that's all they want to do. I gotta let you go. And then what God do, then you get together. I hate all of them. They would spend the night stationed your success, your very existence comes from God, stationed around the house of God because they had to guard it and they had a charge of the key for opening it each morning. Some of them were in charge of the articles used in the temple service. They counted them when they were brought in and when they were taken out. Others were assigned to take care of the furnishings and all the other articles of the sanctuary, as well as the special flour and wine and the olive oil, incense and spices. But some of the priests took care of mixing the spices. A Levite named Mattathiah, the firstborn son of Shalom, the Korahite was entrusted with the responsibility for baking the offering bread. Some of the Kohathites, their fellow Levites, were in charge of preparing for every Sabbath. The bread set out on the table. Those who were musicians, heads of Levite families, stayed in the rooms of the temple. and were exempt from other duties because they were responsible for the work day and night. All these were heads of Levite families, chiefs as listed in their geneal genealogy. You know, she called my group change things. They'll be like, what? I will, my credit is that bad. You know, what happened yesterday? It's fine. Chiefs, as listed in their genealogy, and they lived in Jerusalem. The next section is titled The Genealogy of Saul or Saul. Okay. Jael. <laughs> Jael, the father of Gibeon, lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Maaka, and his firstborn son was Abaddon, followed by Zur. Kish, Baal or Baal, Ner, 
Nadab, Gedor, Ahio, Zechariah, and Mikloth. Mikloth was the father of Shemeam. They too lived near their relatives in Jerusalem. Ner was the father of Kish. Kish, the father of Saul, or Saul, and Saul, or Saul, the father of Jonathan, Melchishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal, or Eshbaal, the son of Jonathan, Merib Baal, or Merib Baal, who was a father of Micah, the sons of Micah, Pithon, Melech, Pareah, and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Jada. Jada was the father of Alameth, Azmaveth, and Zimri. And Zimri was the father of Moza. Moza was the father of Benaya. Rephaiah was his son, Eleasa his son, and Azel his son. Azel had six sons, and these were their na names, Azrikam, Bokeru, Ishmael, Shearaiah, Obadiah, and Hanan, or Hanan. These were the sons of Azel. That is chapter 9. Thank you for listening. And remember, there was today is Valentine's Day. It's supposed to be a nice day, but people are still being jerks. So we should. I should put a word a magic spell on them to make them, whenever they poop, it smells like a dead animal came out of their butts. Yeah. What a bunch of haters. Hate Just remember, believe in the Lord Jesus. I don't want to be so dumb. I don't need to be disciplined. Everyone, want to be, everyone wants to be the good guy, you know. Be the good guy. I think you'll never get anywhere. You want to be the good guy is like being a nice guy. Loser. Keep God first. Take your place. It's good I was raised differently.